to the channel so today i have a request from nancy shout out to nancy thank you so much for being a patron today her request is i owe you from jimmy dean now every time i do a reaction from jimmy dean i can't help but think about the breakfast sausage because that's where i know him from first but who knew he was a great country music singer with such Oh, a nice baritone voice so I just he's just a legend in breakfast food and it's cool that he is a legend in country music as well so let's go ahead and jump into it let's go oh most people look through their wallets or their pocketbooks and way down at the bottom past the credit cards and baby pictures and so on you usually find a little old piece of dog-eared poetry. I was cleaning up my wallet the other day and I ran across a whole bunch of IOUs. Some of them 35 years overdue. Oh. And you know the funny thing? All these IOUs are owed to one person and I kind of felt like that maybe now would be a pretty good time for an accounting. Okay. Mom, I sure hope you're listening. Oh. Sweet lady, I owe you for so many things. Aww. A lot of services. Like night watchman, for instance. Lying awake nights listening for coughs and cries and creaking floorboards. <laughs> and me coming in too late. Mm. Boy, you had the eye of an eagle and the roar of a lion. But you always had a heart as big as a house. I owe you for services like uh, short order cook, chef, baker. For making sirloin out of hamburger and turkey out of tuna fish. Mm. And big old strapping boys out of leftovers. I owe you for cleaning services. The daily scrub face and ears all work done by hand and for the frequent dusting of a small boy's pants mm. to try to make sure that he led a spotless life. And for washing and ironing that no laundry could ever do, for drying the tears of childhood and ironing out the problems of growing up. I owe you for services as a bodyguard for protecting me from the terrors of thunderstorms and nightmares. <laughs> and too many green apples. And Lord knows I owe you for medical attention, for mm. nursing me through measles, mumps, bruises, bumps, splinters, and spring fever. Mm. Oh, oh, let's not forget medical advice. Important things like, if you keep on scratching that, it, it'll never get well, or right. if you cross your eyes, they're gonna stick like that. <laughs> and probably the most important advice of them all. Boy, you be sure you got on clean underwear in case you're in an accident. <laughs> and I owe you for veterinarian services for feeding every lost dog that I dragged home at the end of the rope. Okay. And for healing the pains of puppy love. And I owe you for entertainment entertainment that kept the household going during some pretty rough times and for wonderful productions at Christmas, Fourth of July, birthdays and for making make-believe come true mm. and you did it all on such a limited budget mm -hmm. I owe you for construction work for building kites and confidence hopes and dreams and somehow you made them all touch the sky and for cementing together a family so it would stand the worst kinds of shocks and blows and for laying down a good strong foundation to build a life on. Mm -hmm. I owe you for carrying charges, for carrying me on your books, for the necessities of life that a growing boy somehow 
Uh, they just got to have That's things a like <laughs> a pair of high top boots with a little pocket on the side for a jackknife. And one thing, Mom, I'll never forget. When there were two pieces of pie and three hungry people, mm. you were always the one that decided, well, I'm not really that hungry anyhow. Mm. These are just a few of the things for which payment is long overdue. The person that I owe him to worked very, very cheap. She managed by simply doing without a whole lot of things that she needed herself. My IOUs add up to more than I could ever hope to repay. But you know the nicest thing about it all, that I know that she had marked the entire bill paid in full mm. for just one kiss and four little words. Mm. Um, I love you. Mm. Uh, I wasn't trying to cry today. That was beautiful. Ugh. Ugh. That was a beautiful song that I know many of us can relate to. And I listened to this song. I want to dedicate it to my mom and to my grandma. I've really been thinking about um, my grandma today. And I remember there was a time where um, I was out on my own. And, um, I, I guess I didn't want to tell my mom, but we didn't have enough for groceries. And, um, oh, jeez. She let me grocery shop in her house. <laughs> so she got me some grocery bags. She put some stuff from the deep freezer and the refrigerator. And, you know, sent me on my way home. And just always looking out for me. And a lot of times, you know, when you're younger, you know, you try to have it all together, but you don't. And it's so important um, to have, you know, parents in your life like that. Because I know a lot of people don't. And so, you know, sometimes I guess you can take it for granted. So um, this IOU song, like, really hits me in my heart and uh who just made me well up because I'm grateful that I had people parents grandparents who will go without just so I can have stuff and a lot of times you might not even know they're going without because they'll say something like oh you know I didn't even want that anyway and so um, this is so important to have songs like this um, because it just brings you back down to earth and you know I'm grateful to have had you know people who love me that much to do that for me so if you can relate to this song let me know in the comment section down below I would love to hear from you and this is why I do these songs Country music, like, brings us together. No other genre tells stories like this um, that just hits you in the heart <laughs> and it make you laugh, cry, and do all of it in, within less than five minutes. So, great story, words to live by and make you feel grateful for what you have, so... Thank you so much for this, Nancy, and um, I'll see you in my next video. Ta-ta!